Today we're going to show you one of the best sanding robots out there in the market. First, we're going to mark all the corners. We are going right into the corner to show you that our sanders goes right into these edges. We're going to sand the whole board in each and every corner itself. What we're trying to showcase is that the sander starts and is actually hitting the edges so that it's sanding all those corner panels, that that's where the marks are usually being left by the CNC machining systems. First, we select the recipe. Then we press start. The robot takes an image and turns the orbital sander first for completing the rails. And this is customizable. You can select whether you want to do in rails or do you want to do the inner panel itself? The vision detects both the panels as separately and plans the path separately as well. So all of this is customizable within the UI itself. The operator and the managers have access to it. The managers have access to create recipes for the users or for the operators, and the operators can actually fine tune those recipes if they feel like per board. Now the laser is being set up so that it detects the exact edge. It's right into the corner. If you see it here, and it's actually going to hit more on the edges, and it's going to go up 2 to 3 millimeters so that it's really ramming into those edges and it's cleaning that up. So what you'll see here is each and every time it's right into that edge, you see the pad squishing up right there. It has already cleaned up most of the edges. And now it's going to do what we call a snake pass or a linear motion. At first it did a border pass. Now it's doing a snake-like pattern. And it's going to come up in it, and you'll see that the sand doesn't stop on the panel. And that's one of the big things. A lot of our customers were asking us that, oh, I don't want my sanders to stop on the panel. They leave marks or they leave pigtails. No, it won't. And now it's doing a circular motion where it's going to remove any of the linear marks and make it much more even. The laser is only there to find the edges. Actually, there is a force sensor being applied while it's sanding. So what you see right now is absolutely clean edges. Each and every time. No marks, no nothing. You saw us put the marks. The video is not sped up. It is absolutely clean. You did not see any dust or anything come up. And it's that easy to do it. What I'm going to show you again is a different board, a much, much more beaten board. Oh, and this is what we want to show you. That no matter how destroyed or damaged the board is, we are going to go right into the edges you are seeing again. Doesn't matter how damaged the board is. Okay. All you need to do is press start, and it's going to take an image and do that board itself. As it's pre-planned, it's going to come down, it's going to start sanding. It's actually applying very, very, very accurate force. When it's doing the sanding, it's plus or minus 200 grams of force when it's applying. And the pressure is you can decide how much pressure you want by the side button, with a very easy push of a button, but it's minus plus 200 grams. Again, as you'll see here, it's gonna figure out where the edges are and it's gonna come right into the edge. As you can see, it's right into the corner. It's not even a millimeter away, into each and every edge. So it does the outside of the rails twice. <clears throat> it does the inner panel twice as well. One once with a snake-like pattern, and then once with a curved semicircular pattern. And that's what we felt that gives the best results. And what you recognize now is now it's going to go back up. 
it's going to start a little bit side so that it's not when it does a circular motion. It doesn't hit the edges. Hey. And it's cleaning everything up. And it's all done. And that if you see again, we marked everything with a pencil. And it's all clean. No marks, no pencil marks, no nothing. And it took 1 minute 55 seconds to do the whole board. So absolutely no time taken to do the board itself. Thank you so much.